creating local camera based effects, fixing world space normals, and object space triplanar effects. These are what we can achieve using transform vector and transform position. Hey everyone, Hojdi here and this video is about these two Unreal Engine material nodes. By the end of the video, you'll know where and why we use them and you'll be able to build effects just like the ones you just saw. So let's dive in. This video was possible thanks to my supporters. The material nodes. Right click in the material graph and search for transform. Here under vector apps, these are the nodes we'll focus on in this video. So let's add both of them. After adding the transform node, we can see that the name on the node is transform vector. They both have one input and one output. And in the details tab, they both have a source and a destination option. If we click on them, a dropdown opens, which can help us choose between several coordinate spaces. When working with 3D graphics, shaders, and simulations, coordinate spaces define where things live, how they are oriented, and how they transform between different stages of the rendering or physics pipeline. I have a blog post about all the CGI coordinate spaces, so if you are not familiar with them, check it out. I'll put the link in the description below. So what do these nodes do and how can we use them? Let's go over them one by one. The transform vector node. The transform or transform vector node converts a three channel vector value from one coordinate system to another. Inputs to shader math are often automatically converted to tangent space. This means that vectors like constants or the camera vector are automatically brought into tangent space before being evaluated. The transform node gives us control over this process. Instead of staying locked to tangent space, we can explicitly move vectors between any of these spaces. What does it actually take as input? Any vector that represents a direction, for example a surface normal or even the camera vector. We can transform a tangent space normal map into world space so it can sample a cube map. When we set the source to tangent and the destination to world, the normal maps data will be rotated into the scene's world orientation. By default, the material uses tangent space normal maps. If for any reason we disable this option, and save the material, the normal of the material won't look correct. That's another instance where transforming the normal from tangent space to world space would help us. Let's save it, and it's fixed. We can take a world space vector, like the vertex normal, and transform it into local space. So let's connect it to the transform vector node, set the source to world space, and the destination to local space and let's connect it to the base color. Let's actually mask the B channel to better see it. So add a component mask node, mask the B channel and connect it. Save the material and now when we rotate the mesh, the mask rotates with it. But if we don't use the transform vector node, we can see that the mask is in world space. We can use this, for example, to create the mask for local space triplanar effects. So in short, the transform node helps rotate or scale vectors into the space we need. And it works on vectors, not positions. It means that it ignores translation and only works on rotation and scale. Now for translation, that's where the other node transform position comes in handy. By the way, you can download the tutorial project files, including the project file of this video, by becoming a supporter on Patreon. You'll also get early access to videos and other exclusive material, VFX and Houdini project files. The link is in the description. The transform position node. 
The transform position node is used to convert a point in a space from one coordinate system to another. Unlike the transform vector node, which works only on directions, this one works on positions. That means it takes translation into account as well as rotation and scale. The input can be any position, for example, the word position of a pixel or its screen position. Transform position lets us move that position between the coordinate spaces specified here in the details tab. For example, from absolute world space to local space or from view space to instance and particle space. Again, if you are not familiar with these spaces, read the blog post on my website. We can use this node to create local space texture projections. Let's add the world position node. Drag out of the XYZ output and connect it to the transform position node. And before connecting it to the UVs input, we should mask the R and the G channels because the UVs expects a vector to connect it and connect the RGB output to the base color input. Let's save it. And right now the texture is too small. So to fix that, we should multiply the output of the transform position node by something low like 0.01. So let's hold M and click to add a multiply node connect it and set the B value to 0.01 save the material and now it's better so let's move it and as you can see the texture is stuck to the mesh but here if we skip the transform position node Now the texture is projected in world space and the object is moving through it. And also make sure that on the transform position node, you set the source to absolute world space and the destination to local space. Let's connect it again, save it and now it works correctly. And we can even rotate it. So as you can see, transform position works both with translation and rotation and also with a scale. So the transform position node can be used to create the projection in a local triplanar effect. We can also use it to create this effect where the material changes as the camera goes up and down. So to create that, all we need to do is to get the camera position node so let's add it, not the camera offset node, camera position, world space. Use the transform position node to move it from absolute world space to local space. And let's mask the B channel. And connect it to the base color input save the material make sure to assign the material to your mesh and now first of all let's reset the rotation of these meshes now when i go up it's white when i go down they become black and it happens in one unreal unit which is one centimeter we can add a divide node to make it a gradient. So after the mask node, we can either use a multiply or a divide. I'm going to use a multiply node. So hold M and click to add a multiply node. Set the B value to 0 0.01 and 
now connected to the base color input. When we multiply it by 0.01, the gradient takes place in 100 unreal units, which is 1 meter. As I said before, by default, it takes place in 1 unreal unit, which is 1 centimeter, and it's not noticeable. But if you multiply it by 0.01, it takes place in 100 unreal units, which is 1 meter. So let's save the material. And now we can see the gradient from black to white and from white to black. Yeah. It's white, then it's gray and then it's black. Some considerations when using these nodes. According to the documentation, vertex color is mutually exclusive with the transform node due to limited interpolators in the shader pipeline. If we use both a transform node and vertex color, then vertex color will come out all white. Too many transforms can impact performance in complex materials. Keep this in mind especially when creating projects for mobile. If you don't get the desired outcome when using these nodes, make sure to check the source and destination options. For example, when using them with world position, we should make sure that the source is set to world space and not any other option. If it's set to any of the other options, it doesn't work correctly. And the same goes with transform vector. If we use it with, for example, a vertex normal node which works in world space, we should always make sure that the source is set to world space. Flow of information and the order we connect the nodes matter. For example, here we set up these nodes and now the material works in local space. But here, if I use the multiply node before the transform node, just like this and save the material now it doesn't work correctly so keep that in mind so transform vector is for directions like normals and tangents but transform position is for points like pixel locations and world positions these aren't just examples I always use these two nodes in my master materials to add local space triplanar projections. So that's it. Click here for more Unreal stuff and thank you so much for watching. Massive shout out to my amazing supporters for making this possible. Like this video, subscribe and join our communities. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. So, see you in the next one.